once more dear and wonderful zine friends welcome back to happy mail monday if you are new here hello welcome virtual hugs virtual cookies i am silver next your resident zine enthusiast hanging out in rural australia showing you the amazing wonderful awesome mail that has landed in my post box over the past week <laughs> and here we have um zine cat asimov and i wanted to make a little note take a little time if you follow me on social media um you'll know that we had a bit of a, a rough end to the week um uh asimov he's doing okay but he's 14 um we had to take him to the vet and it was very much the vet was glad we took him in um we're not quite sure what's going on, um, but the vet's basically just saying, you know, be prepared. Um, yeah, we're just not sure what's going on. He could, he could, <laughs> sorry, it's a little bit tough to talk about, as you can imagine. Um, yeah, there's just a lot up in the air. He's got some medications that, um, seem to be making him a lot more comfortable, um, I'm just happy we're able to have him at home um, and yeah it's just one of those situations we might have weeks we might not um, so yeah I just thought <laughs> I'd say thank you to everybody for your good wishes um, it was really hard um, when they were at the vet and we had to hang around and <laughs> wait for them to stabilize him but he's stabilized now he's happy to be home he's getting absolutely spoiled rotten um but yeah so i just wanted to say thank you and a thank you from asimov um he's just doing his thing and yeah thank you for all the the understanding and everything like that um hmm our fur family <laughs> They can worry us quite a lot, especially if we don't know what's going on. Um, apparently, uh, heart failure is pretty hard to diagnose in cats because they can be a bit weird about it, but that might be what's going on. So yeah, we're just making them comfy and hoping for weeks and months <laughs> ahead, but we'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, thank you to everyone for the understanding and yeah <laughs> a hello from mr. man here and he's got a nice little box he likes hanging out in so I'm going to put him down and we can get to the mail <laughs> there you go, Baba. <laughs> so yeah um <clears throat> a bit of a difficult time at the moment but um yeah, he's, he's 14. He turned 14 in February. And yeah, I, I, <laughs> I mean, it's happy mail, but like life is life and things happen. And yeah, I, I know a lot of you enjoy seeing Asimov in happy mail and everything like that. And yeah, like I said, a lot of you commented and, and sent good wishes and yeah. Um, so I wanted to <laughs> say thank you from us both. Because I appreciate it greatly and um, yeah <laughs> how was your week <laughs> I hope you had an amazing last week and if you didn't virtual hugs from me and purrs from Asimov and all of that good stuff it um, it's definitely winter here in Australia and yeah international zine month I yeah everything kind of just dropped by the wayside so <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I've become the helicopter mom with him. I really like whatever he's doing or anything. I've very much become that. But anyway, <clears throat> hmm. So, <laughs> a bit of a long intro this time, <laughs> but a uh, bit of sad rambles. But <clears throat> we are here. We have mail, and yeah, International Zine Month. It's just. <laughs> has <laughs> not happened yet but i will put a link in the description because i believe and i'm pretty sure i'm right um antiquated future i think 
I will have a link in the bits and bobs because there is a prompts list that isn't on Stolen Sharpie Re Revolution. Revolution, yes, sorry. I'm so out of sorts. And that isn't on Stolen Sharpie Revolution. I think Antiquated Future made it, if I'm uh, recalling correctly. So I'll have a link in the bits and bobs if you, like me, uh, are thinking of trying to catch up with everything. <laughs> So yes, happy Monday, happy mail, all the good stuff. Welcome back. I hope you had um, a good week and all that and a good weekend. And yeah, <laughs> when even is time. So now you know if I seem a little bit off or anything like that, it is not reflecting a reflection of the mail because the mail is awesome. The mail is the reason I'm here and I'm here because of all of you and everyone's generosity for sending mail my way and all of that good stuff. So let us dig right in, shall we? <laughs> and we have some mystery mail, possibly new, new zine friends, possibly. I don't know. My memory is mashed potato. So let's dig right in. Very exciting. We, we, uh, this one comes from Canada and the other one's from uh, the UK. And it's just like, oh, okay. Okay, what's happening here? So, mm, okay, UK. <laughs> All right. <laughs> More discombobulated than usual. And I didn't think that was possible. So this comes all the way from Canada. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see, do we have a new zine friend or is this an address I'm not recognizing? Doo, 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 doo. Let's find out. Woo! All right, we have a, ooh, we have a chunk of mail. No note left behind. Ooh, dandy drawing club. Okay, let's see what's the what. Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I will actually tell you what I think it is too. But I will get these all in the right order because I'm just that way. So we have numbers six, five, four, three, two, and one of the Dandy Drawing Club. Ooh, okay. So. Dandy weeds. Oh, and a call for submissions. Goodness me, we, we've got all sorts here. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> all right, here we go. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad nobody comes here for like organizational tips or anything like that. Whew. <clears throat> all right, we have mail from the Dandelion Horticulture Horticultural Society. Ah, pardon me. <laughs> Dandelions are fast growers, the sunny yellow flower going from bud to seed in a matter of days, but they are also long lived. An individual plant can live for years, so the dandy that dandelion lurking in the corner of a playground might be older than the children running past it. Ooh, and that's from Teeth of a Lion by Anita Sanchez. Ooh, I like that. So what we have here is yeah, the, the Dandy Drawing Club. And it's a series of, oh, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> How many times have I said I want to like draw more? I wish I had more skill with drawing. But this is a series of like um, newsletter style trifold um, dandelion club drawing, drawing zines. So we have number one, the dandy drawing club, the edge of a coastline or the edge of a leaf. Okay, so tracing, tracing along the edge of a leaf. How to contour, learn to trust your vision, trust yourself and keep sketching. Your sketches should be slow and deliberate. Drink in the outline of your subject and pour it out onto a sketch pad. Oh, wow, hello. Oh, cool. So it's basically, as you can see, the trifold, but it gives you um, plenty, plenty of room for drawing and encourages, it, encourages you to do so. Do you have room there? And even this outline, trace a dandy shadow. Oh, that's cool, I like that. Plenty of room to, it's so funny because I was looking at um, getting things like breakfast journal and stuff like that. And um, thinking you don't see a, a lot, you see some, but you don't see a lot of zines that you can write in and draw in and things like that. So that's neat. So that's one. And then we have number two here. 
more sketches. Oopsies. Oh, and you have a, a full, <laughs> sorry about the octave that jumped up too. But yeah, oh, so we have lots of room here, but on the inside it has, use the contour techniques you developed from issue number one and a 35 cent carpenter's pencil to develop an abstract approach to dandelions. Make a perfect mark with this carpenter pencil. It's great for marking saw lines, drill pits, and more. Convenient hexagonal shape prevents rolling on flat surfaces. Handy enough to fit in your pocket and harvested from a responsibly managed forest with FSC certification. Okay. So I wonder if there's a, if these are made into a kit sometimes that actually include one of those pencils. Cool. So you have this whole art series, apparently. Um, Dandelion Drawing Club, the approachability. Uh, if you were overwhelmed with the newness of plain air, the subject can be an acquaintance, at least. Hashtag go outside. <laughs> Pla plain air painting. It's plain at P-L-E-I-N hyphen air painting. The act of painting outdoors. There you go. Cool. So that's number three. So you have the first one that's an introduction. And then you have this one that builds on that with pencils. And this one encourages you to paint. What's up next? And then we have four. The term still life describes a work of art that shows inanimate objects that are still and don't move. Okay, so further on, it's like a whole art series that carries you through the whole thing. Pick up a pick a bouquet of dandelions and set up your own still life. That's neat. Oh, I like it. And then we have five. Um go on a dandy walk. Any issue of the Dandy Drawing Club can be adopted as guided walks simply by filling out the do-it-yourself portion of the issue while on your personal or group walk. Aww. Find moments of waiting and capture them in vistas. So this one's separated out into different like pictures you can make. Oh that's so cool! And here and on the back as well. And then we have the drawing club number six. Dandelions spring up everywhere on our lawns and along our fences, and nothing seems to kill them. Can you cut the leaves off with a lawnmower? Can animals bite them off readily? Can you pull a dandelion plant up easily? The dandelion plant can grow close to the ground out of the way of harm, but it raises its ripe seeds up on slender stalks and the wind and passersby scatter them. Oh, oh, seed dispersal. So this one is about when they're obviously when they're <laughs> ready to do their speed or speed seed dispersal. Excuse me. Seed dispersal is not perfectly consistent. Document the many stages. Oh, cool. And again, you have plenty of room to draw in there. That's so cool. So you have in this trifold style a whole like series that takes you through kind of like basics to all the way through to different life cycles of a dandelion and dandelions are cool you can have dandelion tea and all sorts of things and of course you know <clears throat> when i was growing up we had like the, the wishes and you just you know you made a wish and, and blow all the seeds away and everything like that that's so cool wow there's no note as such but i will see what i can see in terms of um Oh, Sarah Hoffman. Oh, of course. Sarah Hoffman <laughs> is, is someone I've known for quite a while. I've traded quite a bit and does a lot of these like nature walks and, and things like that. Just get out, observe nature, draw, make your art and everything like that. So that's cool. Thank you, Sarah. I'm so sorry. I only just saw it. Um, renew the Dandy Drawings Club subscription via Sarah E. Hoffman.com. So yeah, I only just saw the link. I'm <laughs> a bit oblivious today. So forgive me for that. Thank you, Sarah, for sending those all this way. And I, I love the, I love the progression. Like, I love that it's nature and I love the progression of like starting out slowly and then your pencils and painting and then all the, going all the way to the different life cycles. I just, I really love it. Thank you so much for sending that. Oh my goodness. What a surprise. 
<laughs> and like I said, I, how many times have I said here, like, I wish I could, I had more skill with drawing and all that stuff. So thank you so much, Sarah. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's lovely. That's absolutely lovely. Especially you here with some, <clears throat> pardon me. It's, it's winter and everything like that. So things can be a bit, eh, eh. But yeah, so quick sip of coffee. Pardon me for that, but it was getting a little bit dry. Um, yeah, so that's, <laughs> that's lovely. And goodness knows anything that encourages me to get out in nature a bit more often is definitely welcome. <laughs> so thank you once more to Sarah. I am, yeah, I, I did not recognize the address. It has been a little while, but yeah, I, <laughs> I just saw that. So I'll have all the bits and bobs all the details down in the bits and bobs so you can check that out and check out everything because um uh, sarah has done a series about trees as well that i really really enjoyed because it, you know trees there's just obviously there's a lot of history and everything and with each tree because they live for a long long time if we let them <laughs> and all of that good stuff so anyway one more time, thank you so much to Sarah for sending that along. So mystery mail that ended up being not so mysterious <laughs> and from an old friend. Oh goodness, maybe that'll happen with this one too. This one comes all the way from the UK. Bum, ba, da, bum. So mystery or not, place your bets now. Bum, ba, 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 ba. Ooh, it's well taped, so <laughs> I don't want to accidentally do anything to anything. So I'm just going to take a moment to be do I have? No, I do not have scissors right here. So I'll just take a moment to be extra careful. Yes, this is well taped. <laughs> it's me. Oh, goodness. Oops. It's like how I wrap Christmas presents. Very, very well taped. So anyway, I might actually do a jump cut because yeah, I don't want to, I don't want you to have to stare at the top of my head for so long, but I also don't want to damage anything inside by trying to open it with this when I think I need some scissors. So I'll do another quick jump cut. <laughs> okay, and we are back. <laughs> scissors have been uh, acquired and I have very gently taken this out, or am very gently taking this out. No, no, left behind. I will get tired of it eventually, but until then I'm probably gonna just keep saying, <laughs> no, no, left behind. <laughs> and what do we have here? Oh, okay. So we have, oh my God. Oh, okay. See, I see it and I'm going, oh my goodness. And you can't see what I'm, and it's just, I'm just a mess <laughs> as per usual. All right. So we have what called here, train wreck book club. And look at it, it has googly eyes. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's so much fun. Train wreck book club. All right. So. <laughs> we also have a bookmark so thank you very very much for that uh yeah collecting bookmarks still very exciting <laughs> so we have the bookmark all right so we have a note we'll get to that <clears throat> dear nix last year you published the most insightful and kind review for my issue it issue one in my confessions of an ex zine editor series oh my goodness <laughs> Thank you for your lovely words about that project. I've enclosed here a copy of my new one, Trainwreck Book Club, and would be absolutely delighted if you could find a place for it on any of your platforms. Oh my goodness. <laughs> about this scene, Train, I, I might hold this up so you can look at this rather than looking at my face so much. <laughs> Train Wreck Book Club is a zine serving the quiet, weird girl to train wreck to late diagnosed neurodivergent line. Yes, I do believe I have a ticket on that particular line. <laughs> it's a fanzine for my favorite hot mess mem memoirists, pardon me, and confessional writers. Ooh, it's a love letter to the ephemeral 90s teen mags and tatty ooze music the fanzines that made me. It's a purzine about experiences with addiction, late autism diagnosis, and growing up a massive book nerd. Also, it has googly eyes on the front cover. There's a little surprise on the inside back cover too. <laughs> Where to find me? 
Um, please note the social handles printed inside the zine are dead. Okay, so I'll tuck this note in with the um, zine, so make sure when I review it, um, I have the correct handles. Um, uh, we don't talk about what happened to my Instagram. Uh-oh. If you do share anywhere, please could you instead link to my Kofi, which I will do. Um, and I will put the Kofi link to the X zine editor uh, in the bits and bobs. I can also be found on Blogspot. <laughs> and in sharing occasional zine flick throughs on YouTube. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to enjoy my stuff. I hope you find something to enjoy here. Ah, Trainwreck Book Club is another hot mess of a zine by the ex-zine editor. Oh my goodness, this is fantastic. So yes, I will put in the bits and bobs my review of the Confessions of an Ex-Zine Editor. Um, I reviewed the first one. I think I have the second one as well, but life has been life, as we know. <laughs> But yes, I loved it. It was it was fantastic. I just the style of it and everything it was the anyway, <laughs> I won't review it again here. Yeah, but you please check out the review of that scene in the bits and bobs. And I love the front. And I love googly eyes. And there's a surprise on the back. Okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. There's a little library card. Oh my goodness me this is just this is fantastic i just <clears throat> i'm excited <laughs> as per usual train wreck book club i i i, I love confessions of a, a zine ex zine editor uh like i said i love this style that i mean zines come in many shapes and, and sizes and varieties and and ways of production and stuff like that like I, i'm not expressing like this is the only way to do it or anything just a reminder no gatekeepers in the zine community just love from a fluffy zine enthusiast hanging out in australia <laughs> so i love this um so that's it i i love like the to the edge printing this is a nice cardstock cover the googly eyes are just are fun on um, confessions of an ex um zine editor um there there's a fuzzy heart on it <laughs> i wish i had it right here but i think i'd have to go digging through um some stuff to grab it um but i love it there's a fuzzy heart on the back and i just the little things is for me in life in love and in zine it's the little things the little additions and everything like that like i'll just <laughs> getting into the design like there's a design and they're in like steam and everything just the layout is gorgeous the design is gorgeous um as someone who is getting older and my eyes are not amazing and they're getting further not amazing thanks to the medications i'm on um i appreciate things that are easy to read oh i love this i already love it i'm just nah. <laughs> hey papa look mom's got a new zine he's looking at me like why is your belly not available for my nappy naps? <laughs> anyway, so part one, what is a train wreck book? And why have I, the ex-editor, made such a large zine about these books? Oh. Train wreck books are chronicles of crashes, hot messes, hard living, and beautiful disasters. Oh. They are a form of literature I enjoy with intensity, with the intensity and obsession of a special interest. The, I first coined the term train wreck book in issue two of Confessions of a Ex Zine Editor, which I have and I will review. <laughs> a per zine series where I discuss experiences with addiction, the original plan, and late autism discovery, an unexpected bonus halfway through the series. <laughs> I am there for it on so many levels. Woo. Oh, and so, I love this too. Like, <clears throat> I could just go on and on and on and on but I mean you make your zine the way you want to I will be here for it I'll be your I'll be your biggest cheerleader I'll be fairy zine mom to the universe the zine verse like I am here for it <laughs> that's it I do love when people like introduce their zines like this is the inspiration for it this is where it came from this is where i'm at this is where i've been while making it and all of that stuff it's just it's fantastic and as someone who um 
started a degree in uh, graphic communications and finished a different degree in professional writing and editing, I love this layout. <laughs> the style elements and everything like that and just the columns and ugh. It, I say ugh. That's not, a, that's not a bad noise. It's just like, oh, that's probably a better noise. <laughs> but I just, I'm so, whew, love it. Love it. Oh my goodness. And it's just quotes and everything and it's so well made even the, the the paper inside is lovely as well and again that's why that's why I prefer to review physical zines like I know I would never say you like I would never demand someone send me their zine I would never say like I know I live a bajillion miles away from most people <laughs> so and postage pardon me and postage is awful but I do prefer physical zines because like googly eyes and cardstock covers and matte versus glossy and the the type of paper you use and all this stuff they're all aesthetic choices that go into creating these zines and i love it oh my goodness thank you so much it's just it's really a pleasure like i <laughs> just i i just you know, there's enough bad in the world. There's enough negativity. There are enough people in the world who will line up and tell you that you're doing this wrong, that wrong, and the other thing wrong, or all of this stuff. And I don't want to do that. And so I love being able to review the zines and just be like, I love this and you are awesome. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. Just thank you so very much for sending this along. It was a, a total surprise and I am so excited that you're still making zines and, and all of that good stuff. I love the confessions of an ex-zine editor and oh, like look at this. Oops. <laughs> Maps and things like that. It's just all these elements. I. Uh, I feel like I could rant all, not rant, rave, rave is the positive, I think rant would be a negative, but rave is, but I just, I feel like I could talk about all the lovely things about scenes all day, all day, like for hours, just sit here and go, this is amazing, and this is amazing, and you're amazing, and you're amazing, and stuff, and just things like this make me very happy, and to know that my review had a positive impact, I know people kind of get eh about reviews especially zine reviews some people view zine reviews as being anti what zines are all about but I, I almost wish there was a different um word than review because I basically just let me sit here and fangirl about your zine okay <laughs> <laughs> sort of thing anyway so many rambles i will like stop myself and like wind back a bit and just say thank you so much to the x zine editor for sending that my way i'm so excited i'm really just wow <laughs> as you can probably tell so thank you thank you thank you and thank you once again to sarah for sending that um art series uh style of zine I, I might have a go. I might have a go actually trying to, <laughs> trying to draw and all that stuff. So anyway, we're excited. We're very happy. It's been a rough weekend and this has just really made my day, made my week. And I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you because as I say often, <laughs> I am here because of you. I mean, if nobody, if nobody was sending me mail, I'd just be like, what you been up to <laughs> anyway, a million times thank you for everything i'm not gonna cry i'm not gonna cry i refuse to cry <laughs> it just it means a lot to me i'm not i'm not someone who has a connection to my biologicals and i have um, I have this and I have people like you being all of you being so kind with all of the things and it means a lot to me so I'll just leave it there because like I will ramble on for another 10 minutes and we don't want that <laughs> I will not cry but thank you with 
all of my heart, truly, with everything within me, beyond the words that I have to really, truly express it. Thank you. So yeah. Oh, so excited to check out the things. Like I've checked out the things, but I mean, like, sit down and read the things. So I will stop rambling. <laughs> Promise, I will stop rambling. Thank you once more. I'll wrap it up and say, until next time, make some zines, have some fun, hug your fur family if you have them, um, hug a friend if you don't, or if you're not into hugs, just be like, hi, you're awesome. <laughs> be nice to yourself, be kind to yourself, remind yourself that you are amazing, and um, make some zines, send some mail, and spread a little sunshine. He's back. Definitely want some more cuddles. <laughs> 14 years old. 14 and a half nearly. <laughs> anyway, thank you again. <laughs>